Hi everyone, I'm Eric Norman from Planoptica, maker of the world's most accurate handheld autorefractor Quixie. I'm joined today by Dr. Charles Schliebert, OD at Dr. Charles Optical in Atlanta, Georgia. Dr. Schliebert is also an optometrist in the geriatric eye group, which provides inpatient care to residents in skilled nursing and assisted living homes, memory care centers, and correctional facilities. By taking high quality eye care to patients where they live, he's developed a mobile mindset that he will share with us today. Dr. Schliebert, hello and thank you for joining us today. Hi, Eric. Thanks for having me. First, tell us about your mobile nursing home practice and how Quixie supports your process. Well, we service hundreds of nursing facilities throughout Georgia, and we provide eye care to thousands of residents yearly. Um, we use many handheld devices, autofractors, and the Quixie autofractor has not only modernized our services, but it has also given us a better opportunity to provide quick and accurate measurements in a mobile setting. What are some of the special considerations that you've encountered uh, for achieving high quality results from patients in nursing homes? You know, to achieve the best results, we must be able to provide eye care in each resident's room. Um, therefore, we are constantly moving from one area of the facility to another. Um, we use reliable equipment and the Quixie has improved the quality of our mobile refractions. Naturally, in nursing homes, you'll find patients in a variety of different positions, uh, whether they're in chairs or maybe even lying down in beds. So how does Quixie help you accommodate your patients' positions and what do you do to, to ensure that you're getting a high quality measurement from them? You know, many residents in the nursing facilities are bed bound or in wheelchairs. Um, and as a service provider, we must be able to test individuals in reclined or even seated positions. Um, the quick is lightweight and it's simple to use. It makes it easier to test patients in challenging positions. What special steps do you take to um, get the alignment of the pupillary distance before you begin the measurement? To get the appropriate pupil distance, it's easiest to stand over the patient as they sit in a wheelchair or as they lay reclined in their bed. Um, this testing position makes it easier to visually align the patient's pupil with the autorefractor. When you are measuring a patient in the nursing home, what method have you found to be the most effective? Although the device works well with non-dilated pupils, I get faster testing images with a dilated pupil. And although the QuickSee works great binocularly, I prefer to use the device binocularly to avoid confusion from the patient. Uh, the monocular testing also works well for strabismus patient, patients. Naturally, when you're visiting patients in a nursing home, you may find of them, some of them seated, but many of them laying down. Uh, so realizing that the patient that you have with you is not lying down, can you show us your typical technique when measuring a patient in the nursing home? Sure. The way I usually start is I have the patient look at a distant target. Um, I have them focus on the clock on the wall or their television set. Um, what I do then is I stand over them slightly and I hold the instrument over them like a pair of binoculars. They look straight out at that distant target. And once I align the pupil, and you can do that easily by looking downward at them, you align the pupil with the device. I do each eye monocularly. I press the green arrow. And typically I'll just count to a five second And then I get my result. I then repeat it with my left or with the patient's left eye, and then I have both accurate results. Thank you. And uh, what happens when you encounter a patient that's difficult to align or difficult to get um, the 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 quixy seated um, very easily on the patient? Sometimes patients will have a facial deformity or a, a large pupil distance. In cases like that, I can easily remove the black adapter. Sometimes it allows me to get a better view looking downward at the patient to align the pupil, or it gives me a little bit of an easier alignment just to get the pupil distance from one eye to the other. Um, in certain cases with patient that has strabismus, I'm able to actually align the instrument with the angle of their strabismus to get the right measurements. What do you do to prepare before you visit and, and what, what special tips do you have while, uh, while moving around within the nursing home? First off, I always uh, charge the device the night before, um, the night before a shift for roughly six to eight hours. Uh, that way I can guarantee it will last the length of my entire shift. I also prefer to correctly turn the quick seat off when it is not used for longer than 20 or 30 minutes. 
Um, I keep position on the crash cart surface when not in use. And the rubber base keeps it from falling off the cart in between rooms. You've spoken with us before, and I mentioned at the top of the interview that you have kind of a mobile mindset now that has enabled you to deliver high quality care in, in these facilities outside a normal uh, clinical setting. So can you explain just a little bit about what that mobile mindset means? In that setting, we see so many patients, um, so many residents of the facility in one shift, and we need equipment that provides high quality results. Uh, the Quick C makes mobile auto refraction very simple and accurate. I don't have to worry about the device getting in the way. It makes the testing experience smooth and efficient. That's Dr. Charles Schlieber, OD and owner of Dr. Charles Optical in Atlanta, Georgia, and an optometrist in the geriatric eye group. Thank you, Dr. Schlieber. Your first person perspective in serving our elders with high quality eye care where they live is uh, both illuminating and practical. For more information about the Quick C, the world's most accurate handheld autorefractor, please visit planoptica.com. That's P L E N O P T I K A.com. For Planoptica, I'm Eric Norman. Thank you for joining us this afternoon.